All right, what's up everyone? Um, I'm gonna put together a new uh, set of content here um, that involves basically a brand new account. It's going to be entirely free to play. Uh, the goal of this account is just to kind of, you know, give everybody kind of a guideline as to how to, you know, navigate if you are going to be a free to play player. Um, this isn't something I typically do. Uh, because I like to, you know, really get an account off on its right foot. And uh, if you pick up a, a couple of the first packages, for example, you know, really, really cheap. A, a lot of them are like, you know, 99 cents, uh, $2, and then it goes up to 5 For about, you know, $20, you can give yourself a gem inventory of probably somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, 3,000 gems at least. Um, sometimes even more. And, uh, you know, it gives you the possibility to really put together some good club development because what you can do is you can just walk open these checks, uh, chess spots, especially once you get up to tour uh, six, tour seven. That, that's going to be when it becomes really valuable to, to be bulk opening them. But also early on, because when you first get that extra mile, for example, uh, if you can get it up to a four rather quickly, it's advantageous. Um, now, what I did is I, you, you can see that, uh, you know, I have kind of a, cl a couple clubs started off already. Um, I, if you want to see my players cards, um, I haven't played any games. Well, I did, but I forfeited out. So um, I had one match against Matt that I just forfeited out of. So you can see that, uh, you know, I'm starting with zero trophies. I'm going to stream this whole content. So you'll be able to match up game for game everything that I do and uh, with this account until I basically pass it over. I don't know if I feel like doing everything. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Let me see if I can take a look at this. Bixby Edge, oh, that'll do. Um, anyway, um, what I'm going to try to do here for you guys is basically, you know, go pretty much as far as I feel like kind of going um, with, with not spending and kind of, uh, you know, what, what you're pretty much doing is you're just kind of slowing down your progression. So you almost have to play in moderation. So with that being said, you know, I'm only going to play a little bit, get kind of a, you know, I'm going to unlock tour two, see if I can't, uh, you know, we have the tournament coming up here in a couple more days. And what I'm going to try to do is maybe hopefully get extra mile in the shop, for example, and hopefully be able to pick up some cards, get it up to at least a three um, for the tournament and then play with the play the tournament to get the balls. So here you can see I have no ball inventory whatsoever. Um, and without spending, it's going to make things, you know, a lot tougher. Um, especially until I, you know, unlock some of these clubs, like getting Apache or the Grim Reaper unlocked or Backbone, whatever. Um, that's going to make things a lot easier for my early progression. <clears throat> but let's just jump right in. I'm going to do some games for you guys. It says 116, okay? So Tiffany should be able to uh, put together some wins now. These first couple matches are very, very easy. Non-live opponents. So all I'm going to do is, you know, definitely fill up my chest slot. I'm going to do maybe, you know, in the neighborhood of about an hour, maybe a little bit less. And aside from that, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to probably just kind of sit it out a little bit and, uh, you know, just kind of wait for the tournament because with the tournament, I'll be able to get some pretty decent chess. Um, so it makes more sense to kind of, you know, save my account for that. So you'll see I have the rocket here and just going to get it up here as far as I can. What I typically might do is I might go for a dunk on this very first hole. 
Um, however, with a um, with a beginner short iron, if I go for the dunk and miss, uh, I don't think I can backspin it, and it will run into the uh, into the rough. You can see my opponent here, Apache One. I don't even have that, so we're just gonna have to kind of wing it here. But there you can see it does go back into the bunker. You know, I think she makes four anyway. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that, that's one of the reasons that I probably, you know, what I typically do is I just set up here, go for the dunk. But if I try that, I'm not going to be able to stop it. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to kind of short hit this. As you can kind of see what the, what my ball guide looks like here. I'm just going to put this up towards the front a little bit. Perfect ball. And just over the edge there. Almost was able. But you'll see that, you know, I got my three pretty much locked up, which will avoid the shootout. And until I uh, unlock a long iron, it's going to be ideal to avoid the shootout. So that's all I'm going to try to do is hopefully win these first couple games with no shootout and hopefully unlock that long iron. I'm going to try to... Uh, Avoid kind of spending gems as well um, because the rate at which I get them um, without, you know, spending a dime is much, much slower. Uh, it almost makes sense for you to try to get clanned up. However, you can't get clanned up until you get to rookie one. And that's probably something that I might try to do with this account is put it somewhere. So there you can see, I pick it up. It's going to be a Tor 1 chest. Well, it's only going to be a wood. I think it's only wooden on these first two opponents. These open instantaneously, which is better. So that's ideal. But it doesn't look like I got anything of value. I just got more darts. Be nice to get an unlock here. But let's keep going here. I believe, yeah, I need to get to 10. So as soon as I get four wins here, we'll be able to, uh, well, only I only need to get two actual wins because, you know, playing these guys, um, these are pretty much given matches. I think all I need to do is basically get my eagle and my birdie, and I believe I take care of these first two holes just by that doing that alone, which is pretty much a lock. So even with the beginner clubs, you know, you can get this up here far enough that you can put it in, in range for a wood and get your uh, beginner driver onto the green for a putt. So just trying to favor the right hand side just a tiny bit, just to make the, you know, keep the short, keep the hole a little bit shorter. If I believe, if I remember, I think Fernando goes through the back of the green here. Um, what I'll typically do early on with this tour, once I unlock some things, is maybe use like two backspin or something and um, but uh, I won't be able to do that with the beginner wood so you know what I'll typically do instead is just kind of play the fairway I'll try to you know you can see with what I'm doing with my ball guy just trying to position it I'm also trying to get kind of lined up here and then I'm going to play some wind it's going to be very very little I don't expect it to be very much but you know more than anything with with ball guides that are missing, all I try to do typically is kind of try to play the ball guide that I have. So if you can figure out where hop two is and then hop three, um, a lot of times, you know, you can still play fairly well. As you can see, you know, I still got the speed down. Uh, the only thing that I really didn't know was kind of the way that uh, 
you know, how much that fairway was going to play or how much that wind was going to play. So that, that was the only kind of part that I needed to play. But that's what you want to, you know, figure out early on about mastering this game is trying to, you know, figure out how much the ball rolls out after two bounces, after three bounces, because a lot of times you might only have 2.0 or 3.0 ball guides for the first, you know, for me, it's going to be a long time because until I unlock Sniper 8, I'm pretty much not going to use Sniper. So we're talking about a long time that I'm going to have to deal with pretty much limited ball guide. <clears throat> You know, I'm not even going to get Sniper until I, you know, halfway through Tour 6, minimum. <clears throat> Early on, you pretty much have to just rely on uh, your Viper for the most part. As soon as I get Guardian unlocked, it's pretty much an instant. You know, the second Guardian goes to a 2, it pretty much never leaves my bag. So let's keep going here. Just a couple more wins here. And as I mentioned, you know, these early matches with, with, with not spending any money, it's actually going to be very, very tough to win these first couple holes. So you got to play just a little bit cautious because on the shootout, you know, it's going to be tough to win those shootouts because I don't have any spin whatsoever until I unlock a long iron. And how do you play with a beginner long iron? It's very, very challenging to do. So a lot of times what I will do is just kind of go for it um, off the, uh, you know, the dunk here. But it's a very risky shot because I could potentially, you know, lose the, the match if I don't make the dunk because I don't have enough backspin to keep it from going into the rough. But that's what I'll typically do on this hole as soon as I can get just a little bit of backspin on something. And you can see my opponent does have the Apache even after eight games. I'm three games in, I don't have any such thing. So I may try to do something similar. It's very, very tough to make that shot with the wedge here. But, you know, I know I can't do the short iron. That's part of the problem. So. And sure enough, I was able to avoid the shootout again, which is good. The more shootouts you can avoid, the better. It appears, I think I got a, I think I got a notification for chip in, uh, in flight. I'm, I'm fairly sure that's what it said. Yeah. So it's just fu a funny thing to see. That you can see that I got. So another wooden chest. Rocket and rough cutter not helping me out whatsoever.
Well, one of the things that you'll definitely want early on is kind of mastering this overpower. You can see my opponent not using the overpower. That's going to make it tough to get there. So if you can't reach the green in two, um, you know, you're, you're probably going to lose to your opponent. It's going to be very, very tough. So the only thing I try to do is try to favor the right-hand side just a tiny bit. You can see even with the great ball off towards the right, just try to make sure, you know, that I'm not aggressive enough that it's going to roll into the rough. But, uh, you know, when you favor this right-hand side, uh, especially early on in the game, you know, it just kind of solidifies, make sure that you're going to get to the green in two, which is ideal. It looks like my opponent still is going to make it, but as long as they go full power, and it looks like they're not doing the overpower. That's funny. So this is probably going to be a pitch from, you know, kind of like mid, mid club here on the wedge, which is very, very tough to make in the early levels. Extremely hard to pitch in when you don't have ball guide. So let's take a look at this. Same kind of strategy as before. You can see what I'm doing with my lineup. Um, you know, I'm assuming maybe about three per ring. So I'm going to go somewhere right around here. You want to see what that visually looks like? You can see how all set I am. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, that wasn't even coming in that fast. That should have definitely hit the hole. <clears throat> so biggest thing you'll need to do in these early stages is perfect ball. You know, avoid not short hitting. It looks like, you know, you, you definitely want to kind of, um, and here's a short hit. So this isn't going to make it to the hole. So definitely important to always put that ball into the center of your circle. So here you can see we unlocked Tour 2. It'd be nice to have a Tour 2 club before actually going to Tour 2. So, you know, one of the things that I may do is basically just max out this Tour real quick. And then just kind of, you know, sit on it since this is a free to play account. But here, you know, as, as you can see, you know, unlocking this, getting the coins, getting the gems, getting all that good stuff, you know, right off the bat early on can be, you know, a very useful thing. Um, and that's typically what I do. You know, I try to spend usually, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of around kind of 20 ish dollars just to get a account off off and running it makes it just so much faster to get through the game so now we got that silver chest unlocked Let's see if i can't keep going it's three more wins as long as i don't lose So I'm going to be a little bit farther back this time. A tee shot was a headwind. Rocket three. This guy's already played 37 games. It's going to be hard to beat this guy. And this is just one of the kind of the things that you kind of get yourself in a situation with. 
So since going to shootout could be very dangerous for me, you know, I may try to get just a little bit more risky. If he's played 37 games, it could be really, really challenging to beat him. So with that being said, you know, this might be the time where I actually pull this attempt out here. And you can see with where I'm aiming, you know, kind of right off the edge of the cup. Not very much wind at all here. I expect this to be at least four per ring here. And I hit the great ball. So this is exactly what I was talking about. And now you can see I roll into the rough and potentially going to cost myself the game because um, because I can't stop it. Now, what I'll, I'll always do that shot in the early stages uh, when I'm trying to, uh, you know, bring an account up is I'll, I'll typically always play that shot um, as soon as I get, you know, two or three bars of backspin and can stop it just short of that rough. Because it just gives me that extra chance um, to be able to win this hole outright. But now, you know, the, al the alternative of that, now I put myself in a position to lose. However, you know, if my opponent's played 37 games and I have a beginner short iron, how am I going to stop the ball? or a beginner long iron, how am I going to stop the ball in the shootout? So, you know, that's one of the main reasons that I was doing what I was doing was because it's, it's just too risky to go up against my opponent. Same thing here. You're going to see that I'm just going to basically not try to play the guide. I'm just going to go for the dunk. It's just going to come down the perfect ball. And it looks like I got perfect ball. So here you can see. Unlocked another achievement there. However, you know, it's kind of exactly what I mentioned. It's going to make it tougher for me to win the shootout. I don't know how I'm going to beat this guy on the shootout until I unlock a short iron. Or a long iron. I don't know why I keep calling it a short iron. But I do need a short iron as well for this hole. Because as you can see how tough that dunk, you know, I have to get perfect ball. And when it comes down to perfect ball or lose the hole, you know, it just, you know, it, it gets one of those tough things. Okay, so I'm glad we did get this hole. This at least gives me a fighting chance. <laughs> However, I believe, you know, with no spin, I, I still believe I can't stop it. That's the problem. So I need to land this. It's basically going to come down to who lands closer to the fairway edge. Well, unless my opponent, you know, I'm assuming my opponent's probably going to be able to stop the ball, and I can't. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to just creep it on there, as you can see, and try to get it as close as I can because I can barely stop the ball without landing within, you know, a yard or two of the fairway edge. It, it, you know, I, I was fortunate to get this hole to begin with. And here you can see with the Grim, Grim Reaper, you know, that's going to kind of put me at a disadvantage here. Um, you know, and especially going second. It looks like he may short hit this, though, and land it on the rough. So I may just pull this one out. Oh, nope, he didn't land it on the rough, but the great ball is going to cost him. That's going to be two something. So, able to sneak that one out. So, let's keep it going now. Slam dunk. Hot streak. Marty into a half hour sum here. 
on this stream. I'm just going to probably close Tour 1 out and take a break. Once I have Tour 2 open, that means that I can unlock. You know, I can just sit on this for a couple days, hopefully get extra mile to pop up, and I can just unlock it. No opponents. <laughs> Jeez. So I just need two more games here. My opponent's three for three, but only played three games, so they've only, so this is their first game outside of Tiffany and whatnot. So um, you know, there's no way of knowing, you know, how they can do. Again, you know, another time where you know you may, if you get in a position to do so, just want to go for the dunk here. I can bring it up one to here somewhere. Ah, what a great ball. So probably going to send me to the shootout. If I were to get perfect, I, you know, it, it had a chance. <clears throat> it's tough in these first stages with these, uh, you know, lower level clubs. So I would assume with my opponent having three games only, you know, we're going to be in the same boat here for the shootout. We're not going to have, you know, any long iron whatsoever to pull this shot off. Hopefully we get the same par three we got because the other one's going to be brutal. It's the other one is extremely hard. So it looks like we did get the same one. And my opponent goes first this time. So it appears they're lining up just a little bit heavy. I usually try to get it much closer to the front here. Keep it from rolling out. <clears throat> so should be able to pick up this win rather easily, even with a great ball, shouldn't matter. I should be able to beat six and a half, hopefully. So again, all I'll do is just kind of put it up here towards the front a bit. Almost got it. <clears throat> However, you can see, you know, I was being, you know, just a little bit cautious with the speed, just a tiny bit. And there you can see up to 18 trophies now. And we're one away, but we're two pin chests away. That's, you know, I almost want to play a second game just to get that pin chest unlocked.
Going to Tour 2 can be risky because they can give me an opponent that's extremely hard to play against right off the bat. And I don't, without a short iron unlocked, it really, you know, becomes just a tiny bit of a gamble when you try to get a little bit too far up. You know, it'd be nice to at least have, you know, an extra mile and, you know, potentially a, some wood unlocked would be ideal. And same with a... Uh, Long iron. But let's take a look at this guy. 21 games, okay. So, no way. I, I don't really know, you know, how many, what clubs he has or anything. But, uh, you know, if we get the other shootout hole, it can put me in a, difficult position to beat somebody what would be ideal would be to be able to get the whole to get this hole out here you know i play this somewhat close to maybe about three per ring when this shot so I'll just try to line up i'm going to play about half a ring here just a tiny bit more right here Very, very close. Little bit out of range here. It looks like, you know, he can get there. He can get to the hole, but not without a little bit of overpower. And, you know, the easiest way to tell that is by using, you know, the, the ball guide. You know, even though you don't have a lot of ball guide, it's still very telling. If, if you always concentrate where you're putting the second and third bounces, in this case, only the second bounce, you know, I can see clearly where I need to put it. And, uh, you know, that helps me with the overpower as well. It'll Because I'll need to basically match that percentage of overpower up with that same visual alignment. So, you know, my opponent there should have used just a tiny bit more, but he did have enough to get there. He probably had to use about 80% power there. And these little pitches here early on are tough. So if he misses this perfect ball, you know, I'll, I, I'll win this outright. So it's very important to get this timing mastered, especially in the early levels. Oh, there you can see a great ball, and it's probably going to slide by. So I was able to pick up a... Nice little win there. And there you can see I did master the first tour. Again, as I mentioned, you know, moving to the next tour could be a little bit dangerous. And the one thing I might want to do is play one more, ideally, just to get that pin chest unlocked because you don't, you know, I, it could be a good chance for me to get a new club. Question is, you know, do I want to go Tour 1 or Tour 2 here? Let me look at the courses in Tour 2. Juniper and Santa Ventura. Short par four here, that'll be favorable. So the biggest thing you can do on this one uh, in the early stages is, you know, driving your ball into a situation where it's a little bit too risky and you end up losing, losing as a result. So, um, you know, especially into a headwind, all you're really going to see me do in these type of situations is maybe just play a percentage shot, which is kind of over to this left hand side here 
where I can basically put my next shot over the trees. And you can use that marker. You know, that marker is a distance thing. It basically tells you that's where max short iron is right here. These are like max short iron range. <clears throat> Let's see my opponent. He has a pretty good win percentage, so I'm assuming he kind of knows what he's doing as well. <clears throat> It's pretty much just the way that you have to do this is just kind of lay up and then just kind of gut it through the trees here. You can get too close to the trees, so you have to be a little bit cautious. And for this first shot, I'll have to avoid against great ball right, just to be a little bit on the safe side. I'm going to try to go right around here. Great ball right could potentially put me in the bunker. <clears throat> Looks like just a little bit short, but should at least get me to the shootout. Which is all I really need for that pin chest is to get to the shootout. So we'll have to see what the shootout hole is. It's tough going first, especially in these early stages. Makes things just a little bit tougher. So hopefully my opponent does go first. Until I get a short, a long iron unlocked or a wood unlocked, uh, you know, I, I really don't want to play these holes. Uh, going first and showing my opponent where I aimed and where my ball ended up. What I like to do on this hole is about two backspin, and I know kind of exactly where to line my ball guide up to do two backspin. So with not being able to use any backspin, it kind of changes my strategy a little bit. Because I no longer can see those bounces... And I need, you know, I need to play the hole differently as a result. So the goal is to make sure that I get inside that. And it's tough to do with no ball guide. So let's see what I can do here. Now, ideally, I'm thinking somewhere around here towards the front of the green with that second bounce, just letting it trickle on and funnel down towards the hole. I'm going to play about one ring here for my aim. Perfect ball. Oh, wow, it checked up. I've never seen it do that. It doesn't even do that with two backspin. So I'm actually going to lose this shootout. I've never seen a check like that. It doesn't even check like that with two backspin. So to have no backspin and see it check up like that, that's kind of ridiculous. But, uh, you know, my intentions, well, the only, the only reason I kind of needed that match was because of uh, my, coin, my coin bank. You can see I only have two other games that I can play uh, if I don't win. But let's see what I get here. I unlocked Apache, I unlocked Viper. So now we can actually start to talk a little bit. So you can see how you know important that pin chest is. Uh, not important about that win, I guess, but uh, you know, definitely being able to switch up to that. And then as soon as I can get this backbone unlocked, the better.
So as soon as I get this and can put this 15 backspin on, that, that shootout becomes a lot easier for me because I didn't have to, uh, you know, aim that way and kind of do something funky. And you can see that the way that it rolled out, it just kind of checked. It got a really bad bounce on that shootout. Um, and again, with the with the limited ball guide, you know, you can't really tell that, you know, you're kind of set up for it to kind of glitch out on you either. But, uh, you know, good luck with this early stage. I'm going to keep it going. Um, but, uh, you know, I am going to take just, you know, a, a break here and just wait for, you know, uh, some more gems to come in, you know, nightly reset, try to get my uh, coin total back up a little bit, because as you can see, you know, I'm, I'm only good for like three or four games. Well, I'm assuming I'm not going to go on like a three game slide, though. So it really doesn't matter about that. Um, but, uh, you know, early on, that's just kind of the best. The best thing to do is just kind of take it easy, take, you know, Try to get a couple of these unlocks, and we'll see what happens tonight at the nightly. See if I can't unlock something. Um, you know, I'm not going to waste anything on Apache or anything like that. Um, but if I can get something, you know, you know, I just unlocked Tor 2. If I can get the backbone to show up, I can basically go straight into Tor 2 with a lot more confidence. So keep that in mind. Good luck with your early progress, and catch you guys on the next one.